Black Ops 4 certainly has a lot of content to keep players interested in the game from multiplayer, zombies, or blackout. Pick your poison, you have a ton of stuff on hand. You can grind out multiplayer levels and camos like Dark Matter. Zombies, you can end up grinding out the Easter eggs, the challenge, the 100% are there. Then you can also end up in blackout, grinding out the 80 ranks in your echelon, and then getting up to that max rank of 80 prestige, and all the character missions that come along with it. But with all that kind of stuff considered, there's one area in the game in particular that I'm kind of curious we haven't seen more on and so today I want to talk to you guys about the potential unfortunate truth about variants and signature weapons within Black Ops 4 because if you take a look back at when all this was introduced when it was first talked about signature and mastercraft weapons were kind of toted as the next big thing within Black Ops 4. It was kind of that next level of innovation for weapon challenges and weapon progression that we'd end up seeing maybe even be the catalyst for similar sort of scenarios going on into Infinity Ward's title and then Sledgehammer's next title coming up in the next two years. Sort of that stepping stone to something greater. But when you took a look at what we had at launch, it was kind of lackluster. There really weren't all that many that were included within the base game, and when it launched, it was again that huge feature. So, with the discussion of guaranteeing replayability and a grind for each reactive and mastercraft camo for the variants, it was marketed almost in a different way than it actually came. And I'll tell you the first thing that really crossed my mind whenever I was in Los Angeles for the pre release event, about a week early before the game actually went live, with a lot of my YouTube friends, we ended up discussing what our thoughts were with a signature and mastercraft system, how it would work, what it would look like, and how many there would be and so when we jumped in to our first time of playing there that was one of the first things we all looked for but to no avail we didn't find anything but that's kind of to be expected you're not going to get everything right up front there in that sort of thing even if it is an air quote final build day one patches wouldn't be live on that so you wouldn't see absolutely everything so that was okay, we held off a little bit, but then come launch when you actually get the game and log on for the first time. I remember distinctly having some conversations with some of my other fellow creators and even some people you may watch in which we just sat in DMs and were like, how do you get these signature and mastercraft weapons? Myself being somebody that didn't pre-order the game, I jumped on and had absolutely none. But then when I saw other people had say the MX-9 Patriot variant or the Strife Divinity pistol from GameStop or a different variation of the game they ended up buying, that was something that it was the only one there for them. And so the question first began, where were they? Where were signature and mastercraft weapons? How would they be introduced? Well, we later ended up seeing that that number didn't really increase all that much, but we did get a few more when the contraband stream was added in. When the contraband stream and this whole black market side of Black Ops 4 came into play, you had available the Titan Sandstorm, the GKS Damascus, and the ICR Blind and Glory, as well as the SG-12 Kilcano, though that one wasn't ever explicitly and still isn't explicitly listed anywhere, that's just in reserves. The other three though, they're laid out in plain view for you to see so that you can progress up to them. But of course then you also had the other things like the MX-9 Patriot, the Strife Divinity, and other pre-order signature weapons or variant specific based off the game that you ended up getting that came along with it. For the longest time I thought that whenever this first launch we'd end up seeing a ton of them in the contraband stream and reserves or something like that, but as people started to progress through, people actually finally got all the items out of reserves by buying them once that was introduced. It did come out that there really weren't any more in there. There was only one available outside of tier progression. So out of the couple hundred items in reserves and in the contraband stream, only one was not stated in that and was a variant. So that's kind of wild if you think about it, but where are they? And that brings us to the unfortunate truth here of these. Whereas we may have thought pre-release that we'd end up having a ton of these given to us, we might have had multiple variants and signature weapons for each weapon. Right now, we still only have a handful of weapons even having one signature weapon. So while it is, of course, going to change in the future, I don't know if we'll ever be up to where we anticipated if we were directly comparing at the time to say World War II's variant system, where you had multiple upwards of nine to 10 variants for each weapon. I don't think we'll ever come anywhere near that for Black Ops 4 weaponry. But in addition to that, while it is something we will have more, I don't think what's going to happen is going to be everybody's favorite cup of tea. So when I look at what is going to happen in the future, we already saw the first indication here of this, and honestly, of both of them. Firstly, the contraband stream. We'll talk about that because, again, we saw three right now. I think there definitely could be some great increases here as to what the contraband stream offers in terms of signature weapons to make the grind worthwhile, because I'll be totally honest with you, I 
don't care about 90% of the different uniforms. Some of them look cool and all that kind of stuff, and yes, maybe I'll go into blackout and want to look very cool like that, and the only time I'll ever see them is if I'm down or emoting, which neither of those really happen. Not even trying to humble brag, I just play solos, so I don't have downs, I just get eliminated if I die. And emoting, again, I just don't use it. The only time that I think I ever will is the sitting down emote if I'm playing quads or duos in the back of a cargo truck, because then you're actually messing with the hitboxes. As crazy as that sounds, but pro tips aside, the contraband stream really doesn't have all that much that's worth it. It doesn't have camos, it doesn't have enough signature weapons to actually warrant a grind. It was honestly a huge chore just to get through the tiers for the weapon variants that we had, because there's only three of them. And I'm still missing the kill Kano, by the way. So it's possible that in the future here, we get more of these added in, and it's something that maybe it is a little more worthwhile. Maybe we get a signature weapon every 20 levels or so, but I don't think that'll actually happen. I think it might be still constant right around three to five variants per contraband stream, which is unfortunate, and maybe we end up also seeing some new DLC weapons thrown in the mix as we progress further through the year. But the big thing that really concerns me and what I think is the saddest reality out of all of this is that it looks like purchasable signature weapons are going to be the new wave within Black Ops 4. And while we've only seen one of these and it might be a little premature to make that call, I think that, that makes sense. I mean, we ended up seeing two already repurposed ones that players already had, one that everybody had, and again, I'm so against what they did with this fall firearms that, if I'm not mistaken, is still live on PC and Xbox One, but now is gone on PlayStation 4. But even just taking the contents of that air quote bundle out, the very basis of it is something that is unfortunate because it was, again, something absolutely massive toted before launch that now is seemingly going to be served to us post launch as additional content that we have to buy. And the biggest indicator here to me that kind of points to this being something that is directly purchasable and that's going to be how we're getting served all these throughout the year is that if you guys missed it in a recent update to Black Ops 4 I think it was last week's title update potentially we ended up seeing that signature and mastercraft weapons were actually unlocked immediately they were something that you don't have to go through all the performance challenges which is your headshots and your one shots depending on what weapon you're actually using you don't have to go through those anymore to actually gain access to those challenges now they're just there. You don't have to have any of the headshot challenges done even. You can jump in and automatically apply that Mastercraft camo. And that reason is because people are buying them. People are going to want to use that camo that they end up buying. And so therefore, the call was made to make these signature and Mastercraft weapon challenges already unlockable. Now granted, the Mastercraft, you don't even have a challenge associated with it anymore. The reactive you still do, but they're still, again, very simple. That was kind of the thing is that you were progressively getting harder, even though I don't think any of them were too insane. The reactive, from my indication of the couple of variants that I had before this got changed, was the reactive challenge was easily obtainable, but then the Mastercraft was just a slight more grind. It wasn't anything too major, but they're now completely unlocked with nothing really holding them back. So taking a look at the feature from start to finish, where we first heard about this, it's a completely completely different scenario, which may or may not have been planned from the beginning, but from just a general consumer perspective, being excited to be able to put more time in and grind something out that I love awesome camos. I love what some of these signature weapons have for their reactive and mastercraft camos. I think that honestly, some of them are insane and I'm looking forward to seeing what else is on the horizon, but I'm just not necessarily looking to maybe how it may be handled. But perhaps I'm entirely wrong here on this. Maybe it is something that we end up seeing a little bit of both. Maybe we end up seeing an introduction of more signature and mastercraft weapons through either the contraband stream and ranking up through grinding, or maybe something that's even just rewarded with, say, prestige levels or something like that. I don't think that one will come, but just for theory's sake, maybe we'll end up seeing more introduced in a free manner and something that players can take advantage of. I truly do hope that I'm wrong. I think that having new organic ways to end up getting these items would be absolutely fantastic and boost consumer morale and as a result might even put a slightly positive spin on some of the things being added in as cosmetic variants and from a business perspective that's pretty much everything right now with the sticky situation that these micro DLCs are creating if you can end up boosting consumer morale with this kind of stuff that's make or break man but as it stands right now the fall firearms leaves a rather sour taste in my mouth and therefore when we have still so many weapons that are untouched and even some that do have some variants that are in the data mined game files that have come up before, our only indication so far doesn't really leave me with all that much hope in the system going forward. But that said, I think that's where we're going to wrap it up. So love to get your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below. Let's start a discussion about this from start to finish. When this was announced, were you guys super excited for it? Were you hopeful that this would be something like World War II's system where you didn't have to play your luck in terms of RNG, but you can end up grinding these out or something like that, but also getting some awesome camos and skins for your weapon as 
as a result. And as of right now, what do you think? Do you think this is going to be going the way of purchasable and only purchasable items with very few listed in the contraband stream for organic grinding? Whatever it may be, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. But that's where we're gonna wrap it up. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully this was a discussion worthwhile and something that we can end up maybe even making some sort of difference. If we can end up as a community, seriously, having enough of an impact, sometimes we can make that change for the better. So I'm not expecting this to blow up. I just wanted to share my thoughts here with you guys, but if it's thought provoking enough, I'm totally cool with that. But that said, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And of course, if you want to stay up to date with all things Black Ops 4, multiplayer, blackout, zombies, we got you covered with the best of updates, information, tips, tricks, news, information, all that good stuff. We got you covered with the best of all that. So if you're interested in any of that, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing. If you guys also follow me over on Twitter and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube. Practically live on both those. If you guys want to check those out, links are in the description below. But that said, thanks so much for watching. Mine is an espresso, and I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.